Hey friends, I hope you're all well and you've had a lovely week. Um, I thought I would just jump on here quickly just to let you know that another one of my videos have been removed from YouTube, which is no surprise because whenever you share something that highlights the ignorance and hypocrisy of the so-called WHO organisation, they try and shut you down. Anyway, I just thought I'd let you know in case some of you were searching for it, is that I have now uploaded it on the website, SDA Watchmen. I've uploaded quite a few videos, especially the ones that have been removed, because I've had quite a few removed. So you can catch those there. I've also created the account on BitChute, which is an alternative video platform to YouTube. I like BitChute because they don't try and suppress the information there. I have an account there so you can subscribe to it because YouTube, Google is not the same anymore. And in terms of researching, I prefer to use BitChute now. There's a lot more interesting information on there if you're doing research in terms of current events and what's happening and looking at all sides of the story, you can check out BitChute. In terms of researching, I prefer it there as it's less biased than YouTube and Google. I mean, these two platforms, YouTube and Google, is not the same anymore. They don't advocate freedom of speech, but they try to control the information and only prescribe what they want you to see or hear. For example, if you were to type in the dangers of 5G in YouTube, what happens now is that all the great information on 5G now appears, you know, and they try to say that those who say 5G is bad or dangerous, it's just conspiracy and blah, blah, blah. It's just controlled. Same thing with Google. It's just not the same anymore. So just be aware if you're using those platforms to search. Anyway, we cannot trust in social media to finish the work. I mean, Mrs. Y emphasised that it's the printed page, the printed page, and she places great emphasis on establishing printing presses. And I think that's times here, you know, things are just not the same. We don't have much time. So for those who have a ministry totally based on social media or even on the internet, I mean, just be aware, there's been quite a number of channels now that have just been shut down just like that so it's something that you should be aware of so if that does happen to me on my channel you can always find me on the website sda watchman and i now have this bit account and hopefully i will start uploading some of my videos there anyway that's the end of this video quick and to the point i'll also close with this clip that i found which i find quite amusing so i thought i'd share it with you Again, highlighting the hypocrisy of the WHO organisation. And with that, I just hope you have a blessed Sabbath. Please pray for me. I'm battling here, so I do need your prayers. And um, God willing, you will hear from me soon. Take care and God bless. Asymptomatic transmission has never been the driver of outbreaks. Well, I'm not sick and asymptomatic spread has been shown to be a myth, so why am I going to be treated like a sick person? Masks should only be used by healthcare workers, caretakers, or by people who are sick with symptoms of fever and cough. I don't care. I'm not doing that on my face. I'm not. I'm not going to. I'm a healthy person. I'm not crazy. This is like psychosis. For everyone to put all this stuff on their face when they're healthy is insanity. From the data we have, it still seems to be rare that an asymptomatic person actually transmits onward to a secondary individual. And you're willing to, like, yes. risk people's lives? I agree. No, I'm not risking anyone's lives because I'm healthy. How do you know that you're healthy? I'm fine. Look at me. Do you do anything that people... Asymptomatic spread is not a thing. They've already shown there is no asymptomatic spread. An epidemic is not driven by asymptomatic carriers. There are 
there's no asymptomatic spread. I don't have symptoms. I'm fine. I'm not a carrier of disease. This is what I'm saying. They're treating us like we're diseased. You just said, how is it treating you like you're diseased? But then Wearing you're telling me how you know. Wearing a mask is not an imposition. To, it is. To be careful with other people's no, health. No, it's not just the mask. This it's is the, the epicenter of it's the, the country. It's the lockdowns. It's everything. I'm not doing it anymore. I'm not doing it anymore. I'm done. If you do not have any respiratory symptoms such as fever, cough, or runny nose, you do not need to wear a medical mask like this one.